No, the other night is, I don't even know which night was gone last game. Okay, Perlstein played there. And then I think he played here. No, he played here. Yeah, then he played here. Yeah, this is the Perlstein game. I don't even like the way Perlstein played that game. I was like, why didn't she go there? Why didn't she go there? Son? I've had black in this position with the guy having a knight. So this is still the peril strain game, I think. But I mean, these are the moves I would play anyway. So I was yelling bishop g4 before he played it. And then he played it. Then after h3, which was played by the engine the last time, he was asking the class, should I take on f3, move my bishop away? And I'm like, what? d3 no boo now he's gonna play knight bd2 oh wait never mind uh let's see i guess develop my knight seems pretty good ah he's beating me on time i guess if he thinks he's playing three two that's gonna happen Rook B1. I like it. Let's see. Five, I guess. Uh -huh. Delicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have these positions all the time with, when the guy has a knight. Although I must admit I usually lose. But still. Oh, give me the knight. Uh-huh. Two knight. Man, I like being up a piece. Hey, can I get another Perrier when you have a chance? Doesn't matter when, like in the next five, ten minutes. Thanks, sweetie. You're the sweetiest. Let's see, whose turn is it? Mine? Mine. See, did I hang my queen yet? Not yet. He's got the two bishops, but I have the vatals. The important thing to do against the engine is never have less than three minutes. Very important. I can't be in time trouble because I'll hang all my pieces. Hanging all my pieces? That's just my game. Give me the night. Uh-huh. Two night. e4 you could open it up and have a nice bishop or you could play d4 and they're both terrible for him <clears throat> tough choice i wonder what it'll do i'm interested to see what the computer does to think it gives it the best chance I thought d4 was the best chance all right uh-huh two nine Give me the night. Put it in H. Man, I like being up a piece. Fisher said he could spot any woman in the world a knight, and they asked tall, and he said, Fisher's Fisher, but a knight's a knight. Too bad I'm not Fisher. But I am a knight. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Uh-huh. Two knight. Let's see. Knight here, knight here, knight here. Papa John's? I guess. I don't see what that knight's doing. 
his bishops are not too good. It's tough being down a knight. I like spotting a rook when I'm playing a weaker player. Although I don't like spotting a rook if it's 15-10. But I prefer spotting a rook to a minor piece. Because with a minor, my minor piece can't do anything. Let's see, b6. Will he play c5? I don't know. Mm. Queen d8. Queen d8's the professional move. I'm not sure if I'm that good. I think I am. Am I good enough to play queen d8? I guess. I don't like weakening this pawn, but I barely care. Man, whenever I have more than 10 minutes, I'm very happy. When I have less than 10 minutes, I'll get back to you. I don't know which way to take. I mean, I don't know which, which move I should play. Huh. Uh, I don't know. I guess that way. Let's see. Take on c4 and play knight d5. Probably. Frankly. c5 is also interesting. And if he plays pawn takes, I play d4. It's important that I start playing tactically. c5, he could take on d5. And then I resign. Even though I'm piece up for nothing. All right, so I won't play c5. Uh, always play bishop f8, but my b pawn's hanging. Otherwise, I'd be playing bishop f8. Well, his a pawn's hanging, so I don't know. Probably as good as any. Bishop f8 takes, rook takes, rook takes b7. Actually, I'll play knight takes. I won't play king takes. I don't want to fall into queen b4 check. Uh, bishop f8 takes, rook takes. I don't know. This bishop's pretty sucky. Ah, uh, tough decision when everything wins. What wins the most? I like queen d7, because if he takes, I'll take with the knight. And that defends my b pawn. It connects my rooks. And then I can play bishop f8. What am I afraid of? I don't know. Not really anything. All right. Bishop f1. Always play bishop f1. That means he's fresh out of ideas. Um, I like bishop f8 a lot. So I guess I'll play it because I like it a lot. I wonder if I play c5. Yeah, because it's just he's gonna he's in trouble if he doesn't. Not that he's not in trouble here. Uh, thanks for whatever just happened. All right. Uh, do I want knight on f5? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. If I play rook here, how does he attack my v-point again? Mm. All right. Let's go here. Time for bishop h6, rook g8, and checkmate his, his ass. Tonight. His bishops, they're not so good. Queen d1. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like being a piece up. How much time do I have? 12 minutes. Oh, I like that too. <clears throat> Uh-huh. Tonight. Wonder if I play G three. Yeah, maybe. Uh, do I care? Not really. I could play H four and then play G five G four. That might make more sense. Man, the engine's thinking a lot. That's when you know I'm doing well. Mm. Come on, stop uh, attacking my B-pawn. Although you never started. But stop anyway. Mm. 
I wonder if it's going to do the fine gold Alakine Shatard gun. Man, he always has sucky bishops. He always gives me a knight at the beginning. I take the other knight, and then he blocks it up so we can't trade everything. What do you do? Bishop d2? <clears throat> yeah, I don't want to rush my attack um, like I did last game. I can just slowly build, and he, nothing you can do about it. Uh, let's see. g5 looks good. I don't have to play G4 like sacking material. Just play it when I want. Um, I want to move my knight and play F5. So if I play knight E8, bishop G4, I have knight G7. And then I can play F5. Seems like good analysis. Nothing wrong with any of that. He has no counterplay. If he attacks my pawn again, I can defend it with my knight. Uh, all right. F5 is the next move. Okay, and then I go here. Okay. So far, so good. Karen, do you have any Kleenex? Because the engine keeps crying. Looks like this knight should go here. Uh, if he plays a6, I literally don't care. And I could play rook g7 if I'm worried about the seventh rank, which I'm not. He definitely could play a5, a6, but so what? It's the game so versus what? It was played in, in Vikonze. It was Wesley so. Can I get a what, what? Queen G1, if only I had seen that. <clears throat> Delicious. Can I get a what, what? Thinking about queen e7, so when I play g4 takes, knight takes, my queen defends my pawn on h4. All right, I don't know why I'm even thinking. I mean, it's an engine, I can't play any good. Or maybe you can. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like being lower than 10 minutes. I'm glad I have more than 10 minutes. What do you do? Nothing. I could sort of defend like that. Let's see. If I play double rooks, I'm not threatening because my pawn. Let's be a little safe and defend our B pawn again. <laughs> Yeah, just, just in case. I'm not really in a big hurry. The, this is really funny. You guys don't know this. The, one of the new features of Komodo is when it gets a position like this, it's programmed to think, fuck. It's weird that it's thinking that. Uh, let's see, G4. Then he can play... EF. So I already don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to take on E3, although I sort of do. He plays bishop takes, but knight F4. God damn, he plays pawn takes, then G4. Wow, I've actually talked myself into playing FE. Okay, if he takes with a rook or the bishop, knight F4. 
I, mean, I can't complain about that. And if he takes with a pawn g4, and his queen can go to d6 or e5, but I don't care. Hmm. Care a little bit. I mean, fe really gives away everything. It's just to, like, get a little more, like, you know, Mr. Burns would say. I could double rooks on the g file because he's played rook a3. The question is if he sacks, I'm, if I get two rooks for a queen and his queen can't move, but he has the past a pawn. See, if I wasn't worried about him taking this, then I would play rook here, rook here. And then um, I could play knight d8 if I'm worried about that, but my knight's defending this. So I don't know. That's a tough call. I want to win like the easiest possible way without any issues. I guess I should put my queen on g6 and then take on e3 and then play g4. Hmm. Or I could play queen g6, g4, and if he takes on f4, play g3. Hmm. Also good. Yeah, I don't know. Everything wins. <clears throat> Tough position. I could also play queen g6, f3, take, take, knight e4, sacking a pawn, but get, getting some infiltration there. Yeah, in fact, I should play queen g6, rook f7, then, t then play f3, and then knight e4 is crushing. You know what I should do? I should play bishop f8 to e7 to d8 to c7. Problem is, it's not easy to do. All right, let's play queen f7 to start. Okay, he made a nothing move. And then I could play knight h5 and then play f3. That's hard to argue with because my queen's defending h5 now. And I got this rook defending this also. Could also play knight g3 check, take, and play f3. Jesus Christ. Glad I'm not white. Um, okay, it's hard to argue with this move because it's so winning. Uh, all right. No, I didn't see bishop g4. Boo! Ah. Uh, not good. Darn. So now I can take... Oh, he can't play bishop f5. My queen's defending it. Okay, so I'm worried about nothing. So now I could take on e3. And then if he moves his queen in, I'll take on d2. He can't take my knight. Yeah, I don't care about that anyway. Uh... Then if he takes back, it's like with a, a piece, then I play knight f4. Then I can get my bishop around it. Yeah, okay, let's do I I know I did this too early last time. I don't know. I, that's a dumb move. I shouldn't do that. Yeah, that was dumb letting him play bishop g4. Yeah, it was so stupid. All right, whoops. I don't know what else to do. Try to get my knight in. Let's see, which knight do I want? Oh, I like them both. Yeah, I don't like what happened there. I understand I'm plus a thousand. I just, just don't like it. 
<clears throat> yeah, my bishop's just sitting here. It's being stupid. I don't like the five minutes I have. Yeah, I totally messed this up. He couldn't move at all, and now, like, it's interesting. What a dummy. Yeah, it always acts the exchange. I like that. I didn't see what else he would do. Wow, he doesn't care about my pawn on d3? I guess that's because I can't really save it forever. I like the turn of events that just happened. <laughs> um... Wish my bishop wasn't on h6. Oh, well, I guess it's okay. I don't like my king on h7 anymore. Don't like having four minutes. Yay, noises. What do you do? Rook A4. Whoa, hanging this? Uh, both ways of taking are so good. I guess I'll threaten mate. That's move 55. He was worried about knight g2, I guess. That's why he thought forever.
I'm like mad at myself at how hard that was because it wasn't hard. And then I made it hard. This isn't fair. I'm getting black every game. I'm getting suspicious. My opponent's an engine. I don't know, but I'm, I'm not saying it is. I'm not accusing of anything. Just getting suspicious. Always black. Thing defends great. I mean, I could always do the bishop and knight mate, but I never will. I'm too much of a professional. Ninety-three moves. I like having nine minutes at the end. No, I don't like that game at all. You guys weren't donating enough, I think. That's why that game was so difficult. Yay, a train. No, 15 minutes to one, I would lose 100,000 games in a row. I'm not kidding either. I would get zero. Z zero. 15 minutes to one. Zero. I'd be lucky to get zero. All right, I will look at the game, but I'm not, uh, not too impressed. Uh, I don't even know how to look at the game. I'm tired and old. Is match over yet? All right. Um, let's see. I don't know. I really don't know how to look at the game with it. I'm just like too. I'm too out of it. All right. I guess we don't need an engine. Uh, thanks for the 11:40. Wait, what, I don't understand. Thanks, Dimebag. Did you have 11:40 left? That's how many bits you had. I'm trying to figure out why you did that. Hmm. Thanks, user friendly. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, this is his game with, uh, with the Perlstein by transposition. And in this position, he, the engine played h3 against Perlstein. Played here, right, whatever. And then, you know, I didn't do anything. Just played boring. Nothing much to say. This is a big decision for the engine. If he wants an open position, we're probably going to trade bishops and trade all these pawns. So he's like, damn, that's no good. They went here. Thanks, uh, Tuesday's Green. And there's not much to say. There's just nothing happening. I, queen, D, queen D8 is a really good move because he's threatening my pawn. And if I go here, it gets tactical. Right? There's all kind. And then, I mean, I'm winning, but it's tactical. And if I play B6, that can also get tactical when he plays C5 later. And he can just play b4, and I don't, I don't want my pawns like this. I want my pawns like that. So queen d is really good for, you know, getting the queen out of the way. My knight can go here. I'm defending this. And if he plays f3 to get open play, that's just horrible. Because when I take, you know, I got, I got everything here, and his bishop's no good. So you just can't do anything, and I can do whatever I want. So, you know, these positions, you need a knight. He doesn't have a knight. So, he, you know, he played b4, all right. And then, yeah, if he takes with a pawn, then I could just take this and play knight d5. I mean, just doesn't have anything. Queen d7 is going to defend this and connects my rooks. I want to trade bishops. And if he moves his bishop back, this is hanging. So he, you know, blocked it up. Then I played for mate because the queen side's blocked. So 
I thought if I played uh, g5 here, he would play g3, and then I have trouble opening it up because, you know, here, here, and here, here. I might have to sack a piece or something. Probably I could just play h4 and then move my knight and play f5 at some point. But okay, this is just simpler. I didn't like my rook on a7, but I just wanted him not to be able to do anything. And I played knight e8 so I could play f f5. And I did. Okay, and then I'll tell you where I got mad at myself. Yeah, is here, I, I forgot he could play bishop g4. I knew he couldn't play bishop g4 and because my knight's here. And then when I moved it, I wanted to play f3 and have my queen defend my pawn. And also I wanted to take and, and get my knights in. But this was the main idea was f3, killing both of his bishops. And then I went here and I was like, God, I, I don't want to go back because he has this check. So I was like really mad at myself because he just got a nice square for his bishop. Okay, and then I didn't want to do that because his queen can't move, but I wanted my knight on h5 not to sit there forever, and this knight sit here forever, and this bishop sit here forever. And I was mad at myself now because my bishop can't move and my rook is like defending this. So I was furious. I was like, okay, I got to play knight f4 because I can play knight. He can't take with the pawn because I have mate in two. Well, I mean, he can sack his queen, but knight g3 check, queen f1 mate if he takes with the pawn. Um, so I'm going to play knight here if he takes with the rook or the bishop. And I knew I had this square. And I was like, that's a good square. So then when I realized I had that square, I wanted to put my queen and my rook on the f file. So then when I play knight here, I'm threatening this. Um, well, I guess I'm not because my knight's attacked. I have to move my knight first. Um, yeah. So when he sacked the exchange, I expected that. But actually, I can't take on f2. I mean, I can take on f2. I just wouldn't because my knight on e6 is hanging. But I guess the bigger issue for him is if he moves his rook vertically, I can take on d4. Um, so he'd have to play rook here if he wants to save this and this. And I guess he was like, I'm not doing that. Like, that's ridiculous because this is a ridiculous move. So he just said, okay, whatever. Yeah, actually, I could play knight here, knight here then. That would be annoying for him. So he just sacked the exchange. Now I'm up a rook for, yeah. I don't know why he didn't take this, but I guess he just didn't care because he's lost. That's a mistake in the mid. See, the thing is, if he takes and I play queen g6, he can take trade queens and take this. So he should just take. I'm not sure what this is all about. That's weird. Because now I defend my pawn, and he has to trade pieces to get rid of it. So that's strange. Yeah, I wanted my bishop to get back to a normal square. I knew he could do this, and I sort of wanted him to. Uh, then I played king h6 because I don't want him to check me on the f file. Uh, I'm sorry, on f5, and I don't want him to play queen h5 check. So, like, his bishop moves to f3, he take my rook and my knight and queen h5. So I just did this so my this is defended. His queen can never come in here. Um, I'm not in a hurry. And then eventually he's like, Jesus, all this stuff is bad. So, yeah, when I went here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, you know, here. So he's just like, all right, I guess I'll win that exchange. And I was like, great. Yeah, getting rid of his bishop, I was really happy. Now I'm up a piece again, and his bishop is terrible, and I'm threatening mate to one. Uh, he played f3, because I always play f3. And then I mean, he doesn't have counterplay. He's, just, he's down a, a knight for nothing. I, mean, I, I figured he would do this and, and win this pawn because the pawn's so strong. But that's a bad decision because it makes it easier for me. But this is, I mean, probably the engine thinks this is like plus 8,000. So it just like give up. Um, I guess technically I'm threatening bishop d4, bishop d4, rook e2. Man, that's a, that's a good threat. <laughs> so I guess this is sort of forced to lose the least. Okay, this this is a joke. Yeah. And so forth. And then I got 37 queens. Yeah. So I played pretty well the first two games. I didn't mouse slip or blunder yet. Kimono? They should give Kimono more time. Ugh. All right. Good, good. 